Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another crushing disappointment, um, I, I mean another news coulomb video. Uh, so I ordered some batteries and uh, yeah, they, uh, they claim to be 420 amp hour batteries. Now I got these on the off chance that this actually might have been legitimate. I kind of knew going into it that they probably wouldn't be uh, just because the seller, the weight, the, the packaging size, everything else that was listed, um, it was pretty clear that these were not going to actually be uh, 420 amp hours. Uh, for the uh, lithium iron phosphate um, and uh, just to give you an idea right one of these things is not like the others uh, I have um, one of the other ones indoors I actually weighed it out and you know they actually are lighter than um, these 280 amp hour cells which I actually verified right these uh, you know say what you will about Litokala and you know they have some issues like I said their packaging wasn't great slow delivery well these weren't fast delivery um, and uh, but these are I guarantee you 280 amp hour rated for it I've measured it uh, they have the barcode intact grade A cells they are exactly what they claim to be these, however, uh, claim to be 420 amp hours. What, what is that? Uh, another 140 amp hours more, 50% more energy in the same packaging, basically same size uh, with less weight. Um, yeah, I don't know that I, I necessarily buy that at all. And then, you know, just another, uh, you know, just another comparison. This, this base level terminal, right, uh, this should carry 280, you know, I, I would say at least 250, but 250 to, to 300 amps reasonably well in this aluminum terminal. Over here, they do have the studs, that's nice, but what are those? Uh, the, these, these, this lip, right, just doesn't make any sense. Um, maybe if this were like, you know, ground down to this surface terminal, but see how much less terminal access you have uh, just with these than, than you do with this. Um, so, but I, e even still, I think just based on the packaging, based on the weight, these are very likely 280 amp hour cells that they're trying to sell as 420 amp hour. Um, but just based on these terminals alone, their quality isn't anywhere close to the quality of these Leto Kala cells, um, which I don't think are Eve. Like I said, um, someone might know who the actual maker is for these, um, but they've been pretty consistent what the batches that I've gotten from Leto Kala. So, um, I mean, thumbs up for that. They improved their packaging. Like I said, uh, this is from um, E-S-A-R-E, -E. uh, so I don't know if you know much about the sellers, but basically just right now, I'm already giving an initial warning. Uh, don't don't get these. Um, they, I mean, they came packaged fairly well. Uh, everything looked good. Everything was in place. Uh, but, you, you know, the wrapping is bad, uh, both on the top and the sides. These are clearly some sort of rebranded, uh, repackaged cell. And in fact, if you kind of lift this up, and it'll be hard for me to get this on a camera angle, uh, but, uh, you know, and you can even see this is in the same position as this. If you lift up the CE label, uh, it has a scratched off barcode underneath. And I wouldn't be surprised if these are very similar uh, cell makers. And somehow or another, they took a quality 280 amp hour cell and made it worse. <laughs> um, but I, again, though, they're marketing 50% more capacity uh, than what I think they're actually offering. Uh, so I'm going to actually do a capacity test on these, test these out as well. Uh, now I did break out the voltage meter, um, right? And I, I actually uh, did test them out. And, and for the most part, their, uh, their voltages are are correct right so if I you know and, and on these uh, black is positive um, I'm not positive yeah black is positive it shows up on mine will show a negative uh, value so they shipped with a decent charge probably uh, 
based on LFP uh, 3.3, probably something like uh, um, something like uh, 70 to 80 percent uh, that they were charged up to when they shipped. So you know, you know, they're they're actually a very high capacity, but I just don't I don't see or a reasonable capacity for when they were shipped. But I just I just don't see how they could be selling these as uh, 420 amp hour. Uh, it, I mean, if these if these end up uh, actually containing 420 amp hour, well, then, um, you know, you're looking at LFP batteries uh, with greater energy density than the new nickel uh, cobalt manganese alumina cells that are 300 watt hours per kilogram. So uh, you heard it here first, breaking news. And, and one of the other things too is like, I, I feel like, am, am I a joke to you? Uh, what? <laughs> what are these? Uh, I mean, this looks like a, a, a the weight of it. It's a copper bus bar, but there is no way. Like these are one C rated batteries. These are four hundred and twenty amp hour. There is no way this could hold anywhere near four hundred amps, right? And I mean, such a like a tiny, tiny little contact area. I don't know if I would trust these to to hold even a hundred amps and compare it right? These are the bus bars that came with the 280 amp hour. And these are, you know, a lot of people say, Ooh, I would only maybe trust these for 150 amps sustained, uh, maybe 280 peak for a short period. But I mean, I've seen these, these, this style bus bar tested out this nickel plated copper bus bar tested out and it can handle uh, even up to 300 amps sustained for, for a while, right? Basically a 1C rate or, you know, close to 30 minutes to an hour without overheating too badly. But, but just look at how much bigger, like this bus bar is just, just with the loan, there's just probably close to twice as much copper and easily two to three, maybe four times as much contact area um, on on the terminal, so there's no way these can even hold a 400 amp, uh, you know, basically discharge current or charge current, and maybe that's what this uh, ESAR. E, uh, company is can't counting on that people won't actually be able to discharge these at a at a 1c rate and they just won't realize uh, i mean 280 amp hours this is a lot of energy right uh this is clo close not quite but close to one kilowatt hour in a single cell right so 420 that that's an absurd amount of energy um and there's there's just no way these are going to come close to that i'm i'm calling it now so i'm going to actually like i said go through do a capacity test let you know what i find um with these and and what they show up but as it is i'm already preparing uh to log a dispute with a uh, with AliExpress uh, with this seller because uh, there's no way they should be even uh, marketing these. They also had a 280 amp hour cell and other people tested it. I think that one tested at like 100 amp hours of capacity. It was significantly smaller and lighter than this, which makes sense. It looks like they're just going across the board and overrating everything by maybe 50% or more. So that's, that's just not acceptable. So, um, yeah, just my initial warning right now is watch out for e ES ARE. So I was going to withhold judgment, you know, on, uh, telling people to stay away from the seller, uh, until after I did the capacity test, because who knows, I could be surprised. But after seeing the quality of these terminals, the contact area, uh, the weight of the battery, uh, the quality of this bus bar or lack thereof, I, I can say right now, uh, just already avoid ESARE as a seller on AliExpress. And like I said, uh, you know, I'll do a capacity test, but I'm not holding out any hope at all that these come anywhere close to their rated 420 amp hour capacity. Uh, and like I said, I'll be filing a dispute. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Who, who are your uh, go-to sellers in terms of like AliExpress or other uh, lithium iron phosphate cell uh, providers. Uh, who do you like? Who have you had good luck with? Who have you had bad luck with? I think uh, people in the comments might appreciate some, you know, valid, you know, feedback from people who aren't actually trying to sell their product. Um, but anyway, I hope this was uh, informative. I hope it gave people a bit of a heads up. Uh, and uh, if you're thinking about ordering from these guys, I, I just wouldn't do it right now. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, 
thank you for watching.